Hello everyone, welcome to the Cam channel. This is Xu Hang. In this video, I will talk about three types of mechanisms that give rise to pseudocapacitance as defined by Conway. In our previous tutorial video, we have discussed briefly about the differences between electrical double layer capacitor, pseudocapacitor, and batteries. In that video, we mainly tell their differences based on their electrochemical characteristics. So in pseudocapacitor and battery, they all evolve charge transfer reactions across the electrochemical interface or phoradiac reaction occurs during the process. Then the question will be how to differentiate the phoradiac process in a pseudocapacitor and a battery. In one sentence, surface redox and some ion insertion reactions have been termed pseudocapacitive because their thermodynamic behavior can be described with the same mathematical models as those for surface absorption and desorption. In 1962, Conway and his colleague first used the concept of pseudocapacitance to describe the reversible capacitance associated with the electrochemical absorption of species on electrode surfaces. If we write the process as a formula, it is electrosorption of a cation A onto the surface of a conductive substrate M and form MA absorbed. Assume the absorption species follow a longer type electrosorption isotherm and define theta as the coverage of MA absorbed on the surface, and then one minus theta means the surface not covered by A species. Then the relationship between theta and one minus theta can be expressed by this formula. Assuming the charge required to complete a monolayer coverage of A absorption is Q, then the pseudocapacitance C phi equal to dQ over dV, and it can establish the relationship between the theta. When theta equal to 0 0.5, the maximum C phi can be achieved. So in this curve, it illustrates the relationship between the potential, the coverage of the A species on the M surface, as well as the pseudocapacitance. So when theta is 0 0.5, the absorption pseudocapacitance reaches its maximum here. However, in this case, this model does not take the interactions between the absorbed species into consideration. So a parameter G is defined here as lateral interaction parameter. When the lateral interaction parameter G is larger than zero, it means attractive between the A species. And when G is smaller than zero, it means repulsive. So then the formula of the pseudocapacitance is modified. And when G is larger than zero, still at theta equal to 0 0.5, it reaches maximum. However, the resultant pseudocapacitance has a broader peak shape and a lower maximum as compared to the Langmuir case. Conway later extended the concept of pseudocapacitance to three types, the monolayer absorption or absorption pseudocapacitance, the Faradayic reactions on the surface or surface redox, and solid solution electrochemical intercalation or intercalation pseudocapacitance. For the redox pseudocapacitance, this process can still be distinguished from the battery clearly, as for example here for the ruthenium oxide, the redox reaction only occurs on the surface of the material. The distinction between the pseudocapacitive and battery type become blurted when discussing intercalation type of the electrochemical energy storage, especially for nanostructured material and those that exhibit solid solution intercalation. This is because intercalation is a unique mechanism where the host lattice undergoes very minimal structural transformation as compared to other common mechanisms such as the conversion and the deposition. For pseudocapacitance, the extent of reaction based on the surface coverage the surface redox or intercalation depends linearly or most linearly on the potential. So it means that the thermodynamic of pseudocapacity behavior can be described with the same mathematical models as those for surface absorption. 
and desorption. This is the major differences between the pseudo capacitor and the battery. We maintain this channel only on the weekends. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. The video in our ECAM channel are only for educational purposes and knowledge sharing. Please subscribe, share, and like our video to support our channel. Thank you for watching the video today. See you next time.